Recently, a large number of open-source projects for image-to-video generation have emerged rapidly. Most of these projects offer cloning of expressions and actions. I've tried quite a few, and among them, LibPortrait stands out with its simple installation, low VRAM usage, fast operation, and decent results. The videos I just showed you were generated using LibPortrait. They look great, don't they? In this video, I will explain how to install and use LibPortrait, hoping you will find it useful. First, let's take a look at the model release page. This project is contributed by Kwaisho's Visual Generation and Interaction Center, VGI. I once read a presentation by the team leader Wang Xintao on the development of video generation models. Their research in video generation and editing is quite advanced, with the most notable work being the global hit, the Kalaying model, which is a rival to Sora. Next is the comparison of this model with its competitors, which I'll skip as everyone can find their own favorite through repeated testing. Then comes the detailed functionality. By providing a still image, the model can make the person in it mimic the expressions from a reference video, compatible with various styles like realistic, oil painting, sculpture, and 3D rendering. This is the core functionality that is already open sourced, and we will try it on ComfyUI later. The portrait video editing is a very practical feature, allowing frame-by-frame -frame reference of expressions from another video in a single video. Unfortunately, it has not been open-sourced yet, but we look forward to future updates. The model also supports repositioning of the eyes and lips, allowing direct editing of the degree to which eyes are opened and mouth is opened. Lastly, the project also supports animals, but the animal version of the model is not yet open-sourced. Therefore, we can currently only use it on humanoid animals, such as the Monkey King from Black Myth, Wukong. As for the principles, I won't go into depth here. But briefly, LibPortrait uses a non-diffusion model based on implicit keypoints, making it very efficient in terms of speed and resource consumption. Now, let's see how to install and use LibPortrait on ComfyUI. On GitHub, there are two implementations of ComfyUI. I chose the version by Kajai because it has fewer dependencies, a simpler workflow, and more stars. On his plugin page, you can see the author's demo video, which shows good expression cloning. Kajai has converted the open source lib portrait models into safe tensors format, and these models will be automatically downloaded to the comfyui slash model slash lib portrait directory. Lib portrait is based on Insight Face. We need to ensure it is installed in our environment. If you are using the green package I shared or have installed plugins like Reactor or Instant ID, then there is no issue. If it is not installed, you can follow the author's provided instructions. Now let's install the plugin. Copy the plugin address. Open PowerShell. Navigate to the ComfyUI slash custom nodes directory and use git clone. After completion, restart ComfyUI. Load the workflow provided by the author. The process is simple, with the core being the libportrait process node, which has many parameters, size, scale, vx underscore ratio, and vy underscore ratio are used for model cropping reference video. I usually keep them as default. Lip underscore zero indicates whether to let the character close their mouth before the animation starts. I underscore retargeting and lip underscore retargeting along with their multipliers can specifically adjust the amplitude of eye and mouth movements. If your character has very large eyes that cannot fully close, you can use I underscore retargeting. However, be aware that enabling any of these options will prevent the head from moving, making it less versatile and only suitable for specific scenes. Stitching, which is recommended to be true by the author. Relative, whether to enable relative mode, I suggest true. When choosing a reference video, the official ones work well. If you want to record your own, the head needs to stay stable, not in terms of movement amplitude, but in terms of its position in the frame. The resolution of the reference video currently supports a maximum of 1280 on one side. If it exceeds this, it will be automatically compressed. I'll use one of the nine official reference videos this time. Choose a nice portrait image, leave everything else unchanged, and click Run. The full video is a bit long, so I'll speed it up a bit. 
Look at the result, the character in the final video mimics the cute expressions from the reference video. Let's try another official reference video, run it, speed it up. And look at the result, the expressions are still well replicated, but there's a small flaw with the crown on the character's head not moving along. Zoom in and you'll see it. I believe it's because the very top part of the crown exceeds the model's face-based cropping area. Let's try another portrait image. This one has no issues, and the head is complete. Here's another result I generated, and the head is fine there too. Normally, this can be solved by expanding the model's cropping area, but I couldn't find an effective parameter after some trials. It might be a bug or limitation. Let's wait for future plugin or model updates. That's it for today's video. I think Lip Portrait is very practical and worth a try. The plugin, workflow, and models will be in the description. Feel free to get them if you're interested. See you next time.